purpose of this video tutorial is to get you started as quickly as possible with the network's functionality in Polynode. So what you see here is a user that's logged in and has navigated to the networks tab in Polynode. And you have an example network which all accounts come with. So you can always immediately open this example network if you choose to. Uh, and you also have the functionality available for this individual example network, edit, duplicate, manage users, export to Excel, archive and delete. So what we're going to do is just go to new network and create a new network by importing our own data into Polynode. So I'm going to call this quick start network. And there are three options in terms of getting the data into Polynode. The first is Excel, and that's what we're going to be using here. But we also support graph exchange format, which is valuable if you want to interchange your network data with uh, you know, using other packages, if you want to use Python or R or something like that. Uh, and we have a fully featured API, so you can use JSON if you want to. Uh, but we're going to use Excel, and I'm just going to select uh, an example passive data file, like so. Let me show you what the data in that file actually looks like. So I'll navigate to it. And here you can see it's quite an intuitive data format. There's just two tabs. There's nodes and edges. Uh, and in the nodes tab, we just have this one compulsory column, so name. So this is just the unique identifier of every node in your network, every entity in your network that's going to be connected to some other entities. And then you can attach as many optional attributes on these entities as you like. So in this particular data set, we've got average daily emails, tenure, direct revenue, attrition probability, division, performance rating, salary, gender, and we also just have a label for our entities as well. Uh, but there's nothing special about these column headings. You can have whatever attributes or metadata, if you want to call it metadata, attached to these, these nodes or entities that you like. And then the second tab is edges. There's just two compulsory columns for edges, source and target. And this just means that there is a relationship from Francis Swanson to Antonio Simon. So this is going to be a directed network. Uh, and then we have as many different attributes as we like on the edges in our network. So in this network, it's actually email communication data. So we have twos and cc's. So this means that Francis sent 82 emails over the period to Antonia and copied her 31 times. But again, you can have whatever attributes you like on these edges. So that's what the data that we're going to be uploading looks like. And now if we just navigate back to the new network dialog, we can see that we have the option of either making this network public so anybody can access this network. If we do this, this network will be available under Discover here so other people can view and access this. Uh, alternatively, we can make this network private. So I'm going to make this network private, in which case I choose who accesses this network. And if you have a, an enterprise or other organizational account in Polynode, uh, by default, you'll only have the option to make a network private for privacy and security reasons. We also have the option of making this network undirected if we like. The default is directed. Uh, by that we mean the order of the edges or connections has a meaning. So the, uh, the source and the target direction has a meaning. Uh, so this is a directed network because it's email communication. Uh, there is an optional, um, the ability to add a description and image optionally if you like. So you can add an optional description to your network and also upload an image optionally, but we're not going to do that in this case. So we just uh, selected that example, um, passive data, uh, network data, and we're just going to hit create. It'll take a few seconds. And now that network has been uploaded. You'll see it here as a card, this quick start network. Uh, this lock means that it's private, whereas this globe here means that it's public. And the first thing we're going to do is just hit open network. And now that network is going to open in what we call the explore view. And immediately Polynode runs a force directed layered algorithm. So this is the data that we saw in Excel. And Polynode is running a force directed layered algorithm such that the nodes, 
that are relatively closely connected to each other in the network get positioned relatively close to each other in space. So intuitively, this group here is more connected to each other than they are to the rest of the network. And you can also immediately see we have a bit of a, a separate group up the top here as well. And if we hover over a node like Danielle, we can see all the attributes associated with Danielle. So the same attributes that we saw in that Excel file, attrition, probability, average daily emails, direct revenue, division, gender, performance rating, salary, and tender, tenure are on the right-hand side here. And if we click on Danielle, we can see her personal or ego network. We can also see the incoming and outgoing edges for Danielle. We can always clear that selection like so. We can search for any nodes by name and navigate straight to them like so. We can zoom in, we can zoom out with the wheel button on your mouse. We can pan uh, like so with the mouse, just clicking anywhere and moving the mouse. We can move nodes around as well if we want to do so. And now I'll just zoom out a little bit. Uh, now, of course, where things get you know really um, interesting and powerful is this left-hand side menu. And I'm not going to show you everything uh, that Pointer can do exhaustively just in this quick start guide. I'm just going to hop into a few different places here just to give you a feeling for the types of things that we can do with this network data now that we've uploaded it. Uh, the first place that I'm going to go is metrics. And these are what we call the basic metrics in Polynode. We have community detection, external versus internal, in degree, out degree, and total degree. And I'm going to calculate two of them. I'm going to calculate community detection, like so, and that will then be added as a layer in Polynode. And I'm also going to calculate in degree, like so. Now, each one of these metrics has a brief explanation and any options associated with it um, available on the right-hand side. Like I said, these are the basic metrics, and we have a range of more advanced metrics available uh, just by toggling this advanced button here. Uh, but community detection will find those groups of individuals or nodes that are more closely connected to each other than they are to the rest of the network. And in degree is a simple measure of centrality. It just gives us the total number of incoming connections that each node in the network has. Now if we hover back over Danielle, do you see on the right hand side that Danielle now has uh, a value for this community's attribute? So she's in community one, and she also has a value for in degree, so her value for in degree is three. So any metrics that we calculate get added as attributes on these nodes. And so now we can go to color, and we can color by communities. So we have communities added as an attribute. And we can add this color operation as a layer as well. So layers in Polynode work a lot like layers in Photoshop in the sense that you can stack them on, on top of each other. Uh, and the order is preserved when you save a view, which we'll be doing very shortly. And so here you can see that Polynode has detected you know, these eight different communities or these groups that are more closely connected with each other. And the next thing we're going to do is just go to size, and we're going to size the nodes here by in degree. And so now the larger nodes here have a greater in degree, so they have a greater number of incoming connections. And we can change the min node size and the max node size, and you can also change the thresholds of the sizing if you want as well. And when we're happy, we can add that as a layout. And now I'm just going to go to layout, and here we can see all the layouts that we have available to us. So when you open a new network, this force directed layout will automatically be applied for five seconds. You might want to apply it for longer by hitting the start button again, or even by changing its duration uh, if your network is a little bit larger and you want to keep running that layout. Uh, but what we want to do here, uh, because this uh, layout has already reached an equilibrium, is we're going to run it with prevent overlap on yes just for a few seconds, just to make our network look a little bit nicer and just to get rid of that overlap. And now the last thing we're gonna do is just put some labels on our nodes. So to keep things simple and clean, we get labels just when we kind of click or hover, but I'm gonna change that by going to labels and I'm gonna change this show labels to always so that the whole screen will fill up with labels. But now if we go to filter, 
we can filter the labels here by the same attribute that we're sizing by in degree. So now we get labels on just the largest or most influential nodes in our network. So we can always click here and enter a precise value like so in our filter. And now I can add this as a layer as well, preserving my labels. Uh, filter, we can filter any of nodes, edges and labels as well. I just showed you labels. But if we go to nodes, we can filter, for example, by direct revenue. And here we filter by direct revenue if we want to. I'll just hit clear. And the last thing I'm going to do is just save a view. So I go here, I'm going to save this view. I'm going to call this view A, size by in degree, and color by community. And I will save this as a view for this network so I can always come back to it later. And I'll go back to my list of networks. And you see here I have this quick start network and I can open it, and then I can open that view that I've just saved. I can save more views, uh, and I can uh, edit this network. I can duplicate this network. I can give other people access to it, and so on. So just a quick start guide. Uh, there is a, a more fulsome tutorial available when you're ready for that as well.